Have you seen tiny bugs hopping around your mulch beds or in your bathrooms? You might jump to the idea that it's fleas, or it could be something else entirely, springtails. In this video, I'll show you how to confirm that you have springtail activity and how to get rid of them guaranteed using the solutions four-step process. Hi, I'm Jason Baker with Solutions Pest and Lawn. If you're new to us, we create these videos to help educate people like you about DIY pest control. If you'd like to purchase the products in this video or learn even more information about springtail control, click the card in the upper right corner of the screen or the link in the description below. The springtail is a tiny hopping pest whose colonies can sometimes number in the thousands. They feed off of organic matter such as algae, fungi, or mold and mildew, so they require areas with moisture to survive. They typically don't cause any harm to us, but they can be a nuisance, especially when they gather in large numbers around your home. So we'll start with the first step of our process, identification. This is one of the most important steps in pest control. You want to make sure that what you're dealing with actually is springtails. They're commonly mistaken for fleas because they're both extremely small and great jumpers. The problem is eliminating fleas requires a completely different control method than for springtails, so you need to be sure. The springtail is very small, typically around a sixteenth of an inch long. That's about the width of the tip of a ballpoint pen. They can range in color from white to brown to black. Their bodies might be cylindrical or spherical. A good way to distinguish them over fleas is that they have antennae where fleas do not. Springtails are also identified by their fork-like appendage below their stomach. This is called a furcula. When the springtail is frightened, they release their furcula and it acts as a spring. This will fling them up to half a foot in the air. This is where they get their name the springtail. And don't forget, if you want to learn more and get your professional pesticides for springtail control, make sure you visit our website and click the link in the description below. The next step in our process is inspection. This is also a crucial step because once you've identified springtails, you need to know where they're coming from. If you don't treat the right spots, then you won't get effective control. Springtails need moisture to survive, so check around damp areas. This will usually be in or around mulch or soil beds, leaf litter, yard debris, in or around rain gutters, in or under flower pots, around pools and hot tubs, or where pipes penetrate the walls. Inside, they are found in moist areas like bathrooms and kitchens, so check around bathtubs, under sinks, or voids near plumbing. If you're seeing them coming up from under the floor or around baseboards, this might mean that you have a moisture issue that needs to be fixed. The good news is, is that springtails don't travel very far from their nest, so it'll be really close by. For more inspection tips, remember to click the link in the description below for our springtail control guide and to get your professional products. The third step in our process is control. To get control of springtails, you need to reduce the amount of moisture around the home. So this means fixing any leaky pipes on the inside and doing your best to reduce the moisture outside. After that's done, it's time for chemical control. The products you will need are defense dust, a hand duster, Bifen LP granules, a hand spreader, Reclaim IT concentrate, and a pump or hose-in sprayer. First, use defense dust to treat voids and crawl spaces. This is an insecticidal dust that's waterproof and great to puff into hard to reach areas. Use this with a hand duster and puff defense dust in voids and entry points near plumbing, in weep holes, and under baseboards. Next, treat the outside with Bifen LP. Bifen LP is a granular insecticide that works through a slow release process and offers a residual of up to three months. Using a hand spreader, spread the Bifen LP granules over mulch beds, flower beds, or anywhere else you've been seeing springtail activity, being sure to follow the label instructions. Finally, use Reclaim IT for surface spraying. Reclaim IT is a powerful liquid concentrate that will not only activate the bifen granules, but will also offer a quick knockdown and a residual of up to 90 days. Spray the Reclaim in flower and mulch beds over the granules. Also, create a barrier around your home by spraying two to three feet up on the structure and two to three feet out. You can also spray Reclaim inside where you've seen springtail activity. This could be along baseboards, under sinks, behind toilets, or along bathtubs. Just make sure you read and follow all label instructions. Get these products today by clicking the icon in the top right corner where you can easily find each of these products. We'll also include links for the products and the equipment down in the description below. The final step of the process is prevention. Prevent springtails from returning by monitoring the moisture levels around your home. Be sure to address and fix any leaky pipes, damp soil or mulch, or any areas in your yard with poor drainage. 
and make sure you spray Reclaim IT every three months. Remember to visit our website for an in-depth guide and access to each of these products. We guarantee these tips and products 100% and offer same-day shipping. We also rely on referrals from customers like you. So if you liked this guide and when the products work for you, make sure you tell your family and friends about us. And don't hesitate to give us a call or shoot us an email. I'm Jason Baker with Solutions Pest and Lawn. Ask us how, then do it yourself.